Hi, I'm Nathan Camarillo, executive producer on Crisis 2. So with Crisis 2, we found a unique opportunity to take the Crisis-style gameplay that we had in the original Crisis and going back throughout the pedigree and history of Crytek to take that multi-platform. We're set in New York, which is a really unique environment for us to have really intense, unique urban combat. Uh, while at the same time, it still has a very organic feel based on what you do in the environment. So you get a lot more bullet impact, a lot more bullet feedback, and you're not staring at the same kind of environment from beginning to end being in a jungle. In the original Crisis, we had this array of powers that people could turn on and off, and they were very singular powers that only lasted a few seconds. But what we found was people combined these powers together in unique ways to create a, a player style. So now we're catering to those player styles and creating powers in the new nano suit, so you can play how you want. We sit in a very unique gameplay space that we're not exactly a modern military shooter and we're not exactly a science fiction shooter either. We sit right in the middle in a very nice spot. So we can have conventional weapons like assault rifles and things people enjoy playing with and hand grenades and cool things like that. But then we can also create some science tech weapons like uh, Gauss rifles and uh, microwave cannons. It's going to be a unique package like nobody else can offer. So we're quite, quite excited to talk about more over the upcoming months. I could tell you about multiplayer today, but then I would have to shoot you with one of our Gauss rifles.